visionary Revolutionary I'm a visionary Revolutionary What's going on everyone? It's Camilio Solomon Back to bring you your wrestling report Today, we have many stories to talk about Such as the ratings for Monday Night Raw NXT And AEW Dynamite WWE will go hard after AEW free agents and many, many more stories. Please don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to be sure you won't miss out on any more uploads. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into the news. This week edition of Monday Night Raw, ratings are in. The episode drew an average of 2.006 million viewers on the USA Network, which is up for the 1.812 million viewers the show did last week. In an all-important 18 to 49 demographic, the show had did a rating of 0.56, which is also up for the 0.47 rating the show did last week. NXT had drew an average of 589,000 live viewers on the USA Network, which is down from the 640,000 viewers the show did last week. This week, of NXT had drew a 0.14 rating in the 1849 demographic, which is down from the 0.15 rating the show did last week. The ratings are in for Wednesday's AEW Dynamite. The show drew an average of 1.028 million viewers which is up for the 824,000 viewers the show did last week. And in the all reported 18 to 49 demographics, the show had drew an average of 0.35, which is up for the 0.27 rating the show drew last week. James Campbell, WWE Senior Vice President of Talent Operations and Strategy, had worked for WWE for the past two years, mainly on the NIL program. His employment with WWE is no longer as Sean Ross Sapp of FIFA has reported that Kimball was terminated due to an HR violation. As of this recording, Kimball hasn't made a statement about his termination. It looks like Mercedes Monet might have a match in AEW after all. Spectrum Cable Pay-Per-View event listing page has a very important pay-per-view listed for Saturday, June 24th. It looks like AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling are preparing to cross paths again for Forbidden Door 2. When Monet first went to New Japan, it was speculated that she could be Soraya's mystery tag partner. Well, that wasn't the case. But now Monet is the current IWGP Women's Champion, and there could be some fantastic dream matches that could be set up for this event. Cody Rhodes jumping from AEW to WWE was very interesting as it was the first time this generation saw a top star from a major rival promotion jump ship the way he did. As previously reported on WBP TV's Wrestle Ramble, WWE is interested in signing Kenny Omega. In fact, that's WWE's top priority right now. Even more than signing the top free agent, Jay White. AEW has now added more time to Omega's deal for the time that he has missed due to injury. How long did AEW add at this moment is unclear. The Young Bucks deal are also slated to expire this year and it's believed that the three stars will stick with each other rather that's them re-signing with AEW or jumping ship to WWE. Where do you guys think the Elite will end up? That's it everyone. Let us know what you think about today's wrestling report. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell for daily wrestling videos. Once again, I'm Camilio Salamander, signing off. Until the next one. I started with nothing and came out of king. Came out of king. Yeah. I've been the one that's been balling for rings. I've been the one that's been balling for rings. It's been me and my team and we chasing the green. My team be the shit, we ain't balling for free. Ballin for free. Yeah. My team be the shit, we ain't balling for free.